I want to take you on a quick tour through the Bernina 880, kind of a screen overview. And we are kind of focusing right now in the sewing side of the machine. When we get to doing all the embroidery videos, we'll do it again once we get into the embroidery side of this machine. So as we notice, there are stitches that we can select. There are functions along the side of the machine in these black areas. And we have the knobs that we will turn and the needle position uh, buttons as well. So one thing about touching your screen, you can use the stylus that comes with it, very easy to touch and change the uh, stitches or touch a function. You can also use the pad of your finger or your fingernail. All those items will work easy. You decide what is easiest for you. So as we take a look, let's just kind of go down through the side here, and then we'll be doing videos on more in depth of each of these areas. So if you see something that is of interest to you, definitely search out the videos that we have done over at sewingmastery.com where you can learn more. We're doing about 120 videos on this machine and they are to be short and sweet. So if you're looking for things about the burning attention, which is the first thing that we see here. Now here's something nice about the tension. Number one, as you pick a different stitch, you will notice that this number here will change change. What it's doing is give it, getting you into a nice ballpark for what that tension, top tension should be for that particular stitch. You'll see it will start to change as you get into decorative stitches and uh, regular stitches buttonholes will also be different uh, depending on which one you pick. So just note that that number does change up and as you come and touch it, you can change it more than one way. So you'll see this on multiple screens where you can touch and drag you can plus or minus, and you can also, by the little hand showing those two little dots, it's indicating that you can even turn the knobs to get different settings. Here's a little note, anything that we change that has a yellow box around it, touch it, and it goes back to the default setting. So I love that, and I believe also clear will do that as well. You're gonna notice a lot of things have multiple ways to change an item, or like you saw, multiple ways to clear out some settings. Um, X will always take you back out of that screen. Next, so take a look at our needles here. We have the option to tell the machine when we're using a twin needle, double needle, triple needle. And if you're ever wondering what in the world is a triple needle, you can touch the question mark and then touch the picture that you're wondering what it is and it will explain what it, it can be used for. Our little needle minder uh, where you can actually tell the machine which needle you have on and then what size and it will remember for you as you turn the machine off and come back two weeks later and wonder what needles in your machine. Here is where we will be using quite a bit of telling the machine which foot we're using. So you can't just put on a buttonhole foot without telling the machine that you actually have put on a buttonhole foot. So if you are going to be sewing and it has a different foot on, it's gonna ask you, are you what foot are you using? Touch this and then come to this area. We'll show you a quick way to get around all those feet. Anything that is with the yellow star are the recommended feet for the stitch that you've picked. You also have a zero to nine, which is helpful when I pick my foot number 97, which is a quarter inch foot. Then I'm not scrolling through all the pages. You can dial in the number. Now I better change that back to the foot I have on the machine so it knows uh, we're all happy here. Next, pressure. You can adjust the pressure of the foot. So working with different types of fabrics, that will be something that you might increase or decrease along the way. This nine millimeter throat plate, you will notice that we are, we're already on this screen once when we touch the needle, but here's where you can actually tell the machine you're putting your straight stitch throat plate on or one of the other throat plates that you might have for other techniques. So that allows me to not accidentally pick a zigzag and you'll see that I can't make a stitch width adjustment because I've told it that the zero or straight stitch throat plate is on. So I'll come back and put it to the normal one and we'll put our stitches back to normal. Here's where our feed dogs up or down will be uh, changed. So instead of pushing a button in on the side of your machine, you're actually lowering them on screen. 
We do have where when the bobbin gets low, it will kind of blink, indicating you're getting close to the end of your bobbin. And then also what time it is. So this is a little clock that we can set up and even some alarms to go with that. Let's jump over here to the other side because these are pretty handy too. Um, home. Home means that you can toggle between the sewing side of your machine and the embroidery side of the machine. And you can go into the embroidery side even without the embroidery unit on. So if you want to kind of do some things or see if something is possible, you can do that right now with just the sewing machine set up. Next, this area with the little gears is where all the settings can be set up for the way you sew. We're going to get into all of this in its own video, but in each of these categories are multiple levels of customization. You can customize your uh, foot control and how it works. You can customize all the buttons that you touch. That's the little hand there, but we're going to leave that alone. But when we talk about setup or, or um, settings, that is where we go. The next is a book. This is pretty much everything about your machine at the touch of a button. So if you want to learn more about needles, go into needles, go into double needles, and then remember if um, to, you can scroll down to read more. So you'll know and when you reach the end of the page when it says just that. So all the information, like your own tutorial. Creative consultant, love this area. You can tell the machine that you are using a certain type of fabric, like a jeans fabric, and tell it which buttonhole you will be, that you'll be doing buttonholes, and it'll take you to the right buttonhole for that fabric and adjust everything from foot to settings to uh, sometimes tension adjustment and even pressure adjustment. So that is wonderful. I'm gonna clear that out and then just go back to our straight stitch. Um, down here, we have the question mark. We go, uh, we're talking about touch it and you can touch any stitch, any function, and it'll explain what it is and also what it's called. So if you're looking up in your manual, you know what to look up under. Echo, that means that you can make the machine kind of go black but not turn it off, kind of like a little screen saver. Touch it again and everything comes back on to position. Let me go ahead and turn that foot back. I see that it is still remembering I was doing buttonholes there. Uh, clear, we can use that to clear out any settings. Okay, stitches. All these are kind of your groups of stitches. Think of, think of them as little tabs, and as you go into any groupings, plus you can touch that little side um, opener, and it's a little easier to see everything that is available for that menu quilting stitches. And then down here are favorites. So we can set up like our personal program. We'll do that. And then this one is actually the history of stitches that I've actually sewn. So not just touched, but actually physically stepped on the foot control and activated the stitch um, as it stitched out. So those are the ones I've been using. So it's a nice little reminder, you know, if it was two days ago and you were doing that stitch, which one was it? That's how you can get to it. All right, so I'm gonna kind of minimize this back down and kind of working our way towards the inside. Needle up, needle down. So if you want your needle to always stop in the down position, that will work there. We do have where the plus is where you can open up the memory, like a combination. So anything I touch now will be set up to combine like that stitch with that stitch and a plus will get, take you back out of that area as well. If you have some larger stitches on your screen, you can get it to all fit within this area, kind of a fit to screen option. And then also creating your own stitches. So if you go into here, you're gonna notice you get more of a grid and you're off to making your very own customized stitches, decorative stitches, you name it. We do a lot of this in our Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course where we really utilize this because we can and create our own stitches. Um, speaking of stitches, and we'll be using the eye for information quite a bit. This is where like all the extra functions hang out. And if you will notice, there's even some that you might need to scroll up to see. So these will be uh, available based on the stitch you picked. You see some of the items are actually grayed out because they don't apply right now. Um, they might not apply because of the stitch or just because it's not active yet. So just definitely, we're gonna be going through all these different functions. But when I say go 
to the I for information, we're opening up that extra area. And I love that it is actually kind of behind the screen or kind of page two, because if I had all these extra little symbols all around my screen, it would be so busy and hard to kind of focus on what you're selecting. And our stitch width and length, as you adjust stitches, you will find that your actual size of your stitch is showing. So if you want something to be really narrow and close together, you are seeing exactly how it's going to stitch out. I love that this is actual size. So our stitch width, stitch length, we use these quite a bit throughout the machine uh, for embroidery, for scrolling through like the text, like in the manual or online manual areas. We do use, those are kind of like multi-purpose knobs. So that is just a quick little review of what your screen is looking like. And the more you use it, the easier it's going to get to familiar with all these wonderful areas.